microcontrollers, MCUs. This again is one of, once we get into PCB design and again, start diving deeper, this is one of the component that we'll be using in every other design. I mean, it will become like, I don't know, it's a cup of tea or something because microcontrollers are just, they are small computers that can be used to control multiple devices such as remotes, robotic arms, medical devices, office machineries, I mean, anything. They're just like the small brain. They're just small, small stuff with, with a brain that again operates when it's given some instructions. They have input and output ports such that they can listen to inputs either from buttons, sensors, and give some feedback via output ports through devices such as LED, you might see something blinking. You might see this on something on the display change. You might see like a switch open or close. And when I say ports, I do mean these pins. You see these pins, they are like the ports, but now in so I'm calling them ports. Those are the pins. And these pins, you might find like now this pin will be, now be driving, say it switches on a transistor that again now in turn switches on a relay so that now we can switch on some light. So again, and MCUs are capable of being programmed and hence do everything or anything you think of. Yeah, so we do, we do program these MCUs so that they can communicate with the outside world. And, and of course, most of us use MCUs daily, like say on that, on that oven of yours at home, when you click those buttons, you are giving it inputs. You are giving some inputs to the ports to the MCU ports, like you are selling it on, so it sends a command to the MCU, then the MCU goes, goes ahead and triggers the relay to power on. And then if you want to switch off again, so like when you push that button, you just don't like push on, you don't, you don't like switch on the oven directly. Again, it just goes to the MCU, then MCU tells the relay to switch on or off. So we'll dive much deeper into MCUs, how they operate again, and get into the internal structures and how to use them, how to select them later, still in the course content coming up in a few days. So what are the pointers here? The reference designators for MCUs are, you, you'll find a U, when you see U, typically if you noted same as ICs because an MCU is just like an IC, but now it's just that it has logics itself and it can be programmed. Most ICs that are not MCUs cannot be programmed. You just work with some adding resistors and capacitors outside so that they just work. So again, be aware that you, you can work with any MCU, anyone, because we just read the data sheets and data, data sheets are just available. And again, we can use reference designs. What are reference designs? These are designs that are not made by you. They are, they are made by someone else like me or someone else or you or some, and then someone else is referring to what you had done previously so that they can copy in quotes what you had done or borrow so that they can do their design. And it becomes, so the same PCB that I've been using all through showing specific components, we have an MCU here. So the MCU actually was the brain here. It's used to control these relays, these LEDs. It also takes the inputs of this particular button here. And it used to, it will check the behavior of the circuit itself inside and I'll put something. This, I, this PCB particularly was for like automotive control for power, regulation of power. So the MCU would listen, say the voltage levels, say if we, are we at a certain level then switch on a relay or off. If we are not at a certain level, then it will again amplify the voltage and downgrade the voltage. I mean, it's an interesting, it was an interesting piece.